We're hoping in the ballpark of three to four hundred thousand. Twenty-five grand for everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We're coming back here because Robert still, you know, has the business sense of a goldfish, which would actually be pretty impressive if, you know, it wasn't so sad because, you know, I mean, other people are going down because of him. It's actually pretty amazing how mediocre he is at life. But back to my point, you guys realize this is like episode 12, right? And don't get me wrong, I really appreciate the fodder, but no person should be so toxic that I can make more than two videos. Like even by Thundro standards, this is kind of disturbing. What's crack a everybody? It's your boy Thundros back again with some more Robert Slander, and I, I, I can't believe we're on, like, episode 12. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that people enjoy watching an idiot like Robert get roasted. Seriously, though, have no sympathy for this man. I mean, he was spending, like, $500,000 on crap while not paying his employees, and we just found out that that crap's only worth, like, $25,000. Seriously, what a f***ing moron. Anyways, before we get rolling, hit the like button. The like goal is gonna be 150 likes for this video to get part 13, but, uh, kick back, relax, and enjoy. Enjoy and let's get to making fun of this idiocracy. I don't think you quite realize that your staff, they're miserable. They don't like Ari's barking. Excuse me. Ragging about Excuse me. One I am the boss. Yeah, if someone's not paying me and they talk to me like that, y'all better shout Timber, because if I don't walk out, it's going down. Ari might be tall, but I bet he throws punches like a marshmallow. Someone better bring him out some tapioca pudding, because that chef's ready to put him to bed. And if they quit, you're f they are staff. They're not pigs that live in the f***ing basement. I feel like this guy having employees is gonna be one of life's greatest mysteries. Legit, if a boss comes at you with that, well, uh, I can't pay you, you better tell him I can't come in. I don't care if this is Olive Garden. We ain't family. You better have my money or I'm taking your kneecaps. Sell the inn, sell this sh in here, and give up. Yeah, this is probably the best advice Robert's ever gotten in his life. It's costing him about 20k a month to keep this place running, and that's without paying the employees. This stupid Pringle, on average, is losing $666 a day. But yeah, just keep hosting luxury dinners. That doesn't matter if you're gonna declare bankruptcy. I'm like 100% convinced that was his plan. Molly, now it's time to see if I can get through to Robert and Ari. Ramsey, bro, you don't have to torture yourself. You can declare these two a lost cause. I don't care how much they're paying you. You should have jabbed those jiggly jowls on Robert's face. He might get to sue you for a few millions, but it's gonna be nothing compared to the ad revenue you get from the rating spike. Just make sure you do it in front of the employees. It's the most therapy they can afford. If this place is gonna work as a business, Robert and Ari need to hear some home truths oh. about how their paying customers really feel about their precious inn. Okay, first of all, I was kind of hoping for a public lynching when I saw all these people, but you know they have to specify paid customers because of all the crap Robert gives away. I'm willing to bet these people feel a bit, uh, robbed. <laughs> but remember, this place is $350 a night with a two-night minimum. Robert is an actual thief, and I don't feel like Gordon Ramsay talks about that enough. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for uh, popping into my room. <laughs> How was your stay last night? Well, we didn't know where to go when we walked in, so we walked around and around until we found somebody to help us check in. Look, I know the entrance is kind of wonky, but I don't think we can hold this one against Robert. That woman is like 60. She probably didn't even know where she was. She probably pooped her adult diaper looking for the door. When it comes to customer service and old people, you gotta treat them like they're 10. Come on, you can find a better example of someone we can blame Robert for. Also, what a weird thing to complain about. I mean, these people got scammed out of $700. There are much bigger deals to complain about. How were the rooms? I had a space heater to keep the room up. Oh, really? Yeah, three of them. When I checked the room, it was like a sauna. He sounds aggravated. Raise your hands if you come back, please. Oh, like it is. So Ari is being a whiny little defensive baby, Robert isn't saying anything for once in his life, Gordon is egging on the problems, which doesn't feel productive but well deserved, and no one wants to return to Casa del Shithole. What a big surprise. Not like it is. There's someone I'd like to hear from who hasn't said anything yet. He is a lead inspector of the diamond collection of hotel and inns across America. In a nutshell, very disappointed. Well, you'll see, they're disappointed. Yeah, no, I think that's a bit of an understatement. I'm surprised no one's uh, rampaging through, throwing some of the antiques, screaming, where's my money? Like, if I paid $700 to stay in a hotel and it's not pure Gucci, uh, you better call SVU, because I'm going to violate the building. The hospitality is nice, but everything else fails. Look, guys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually struggling to come up with a joke here because they're basically a one-star review with the tagline reading, I'd put zero stars if that was an option. This is legitimately sad, and not like dying puppy sad, but like loser family member that can't get their life together. Like the place has so much potential and you want to do something about it, but like you can't help stupid. How'd you feel? 
I don't want my guests to have that experience. You know, our goal is to please people. That's why we're in the in-business. And we've obviously fallen really short. Yeah, no, by this point, I don't think anybody believes that. You clearly bought a manor so you could flex it to everybody, but now you're a million in the hole and trying to generate some fake emotion and being like, oh my god, I swear we're just here to please you people. Except people are more likely to feel bad for Amber Heard than you two. Seriously, feed your workers. You're basically Kim Jong-un. Um, for me, I think that's positive feedback, so I'm grateful uh, entirely. Let me tell you, thank you all. Can I uh, keep you two here, please? Thank you. The guest feedback has certainly been constructive. Yeah, but what makes you think this is gonna make a difference? I mean, they're not even listening to you, bro. That meeting should have been Robert handing out refunds and apologies. Or once again, a public lynching. Like, please, bro, give it to us. But I'm shocked by Ari's response to the guest complaints. What's the matter with you? Why are you so angry with guests? Why are you running an inn when you're so bitter? You look like you don't give a I'm not saying that I don't like the guest, but uh, if you have ever been an innkeeper, it's 24-7. Yeah, no, the grumpiness is valid. I mean, if I had to be in customer service 24-7, I would probably felony someone. Juniper Hill does straight up suck, but they could be doing perfect and someone would still find a reason to complain. And it'd probably be something stupid like my toilet paper is backwards. No one is more touched by what these people said. Well, well are you? I mean, clearly, but, uh... I would love this to be our, our private home, but... I am, it's a lost cause. and Ari does have a different way of dealing sure. with I see things. that. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be honest here. I don't think these two should be together. I think they want very different things out of life. But at this point, Ari doesn't really have many options because he burned his entire retirement on, you know, Robert's little boondoggle. Something tells me because he was thinking with his boondoggle. But yeah, no, I think this uh, hotel is the only thing keeping them together, which is ironic because that's the reason it's falling apart. Based on my experience, I would seriously request both of you actually sit down and reconsider whether you should be in this business going forward. They shouldn't. I don't think anyone believes they should. I don't even think they believe in themselves that they should be in this business. Like if I were Gordon, I would be begging them, please just shut the doors. Stop torturing people. But I think I'm gonna start wrapping this video up. The inhospitality has just made me so sick and I am personally traumatized by watching. Anyways though, like I said before, the like goal is gonna be 150 likes, so if we miraculously hit that number, I will have to make part 13. I seriously can't believe you guys are letting this atrocity go this far. Nah, but being serious, thank you so much, but uh, try not to do anything too stupid. Please keep yourself safe, and until next time, this is Thundro signing off.